now let's look at what is a universal shift resistor okay universal shift resistor so what is a universal shift resistor it is a resistor that is capable of that is capable of doing a left shift okay that is capable of doing a right shift and that is also capable of doing a parallel load so if a resistor does all three things then it is called as a universal shift resistor we have seen how this works okay parallel load in parallel load what happens is if you have four flip flops then you parallelly insert signals to the d input of these flip flops so you have a b c d and you parallelly load them all at the same time within the same clock cycle okay what happens in a right shift in a right shift we have already seen if you have these flip flops then you give the output as input to another okay and what happens in a left shift in a left shift you give inputs like this so what we want is at least three inputs okay and we have a common output over here so we are looking at a 4 is to 1 mux okay so it's going to be something like this okay it's going to have 0 1 2 3 2 select pins right and a output so what you can do over here is in one you can do a left in two you can do a right and probably in three you can do a parallel we are going to reserve this to create the refreshing circuitry so that our value is retained okay the value stored in the flip flop is retained so let's see how this looks like okay first thing obviously what i am going to do is i am going to create four flip flops so my first flip flop over here i have my second flip flop third flip flop okay and a final flip flop right here what next let's just name it this is d q q bar just understand normally we use d flip flops but you can also use rs or jk because you know how to create a d flip flop from rs or a jk flip flop right so you can use that as well if it is required or if someone asks you to do that okay so now that we have our flip flops let us complete our clocks okay edge triggered clock i am talking about a flip flop okay so this is my clock this is the first input and in this way i am going to give it to all the flip flops so it is like this like this and finally like this so i have my clock ready now what i want is a multiplexer so let's use this as it is copy okay let's paste it over here like this so what do you want first let's do a parallel load okay so parallel load i am going to keep it to 1 okay to d1 so my parallel load looks like this i am giving my okay i need more muxes okay so let's put this guy over here okay let's like make it like this put another over here okay and a final one over here just understand up till now we have only used three muxes like